So this next trick is all about organizing your Procreate gallery. So Procreate allows you to stack different uh, canvases together to create a group. However, it still looks messy and you get something like that looks like this with these stacks and I, it was just driving me crazy because I love to organize things and I like things to look orderly and nice. And I wanted something that was just easy to scan through and find what I needed. So this is how I found a way around that. If you want your gallery to go from looking like this to looking like this, where you just have really nice folders and they all look uniform and they're just lovely. So here's what's going on. I basically created a cover image for a stack so that that's what shows up and they're all uniform. So if I click open to one of my stacks, you'll see that this is just an image that I created and it's at the very beginning of the stack. That's why it shows up like this. So what I did is you start by just clicking on the plus here and you're gonna create a new canvas and I want it to be a square canvas. I don't want it to be rectangular because it's, squares just nice uniform. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a circle I'm gonna just tap and hold, press with my finger, and then let it go. And then I'm gonna do a color drop on my circle. I'm gonna move it so it's centered on the page, position it, and then I'm gonna add another layer on top. And this is where you can write on the circle. You can add text to it if you want it to be more uniform. But I'm just gonna write folder, and I like to add the grid lines, I like to create a drawing guide here. So I write nice and straight when I'm doing this and I'm just gonna write folder. Okay, so now that I have that, you can turn off the drawing guide. It doesn't matter, it won't show up in the, um, in the main image. Now that I have this, I'm gonna go back out to my gallery. Okay, so now I see it, it's at the top of my gallery. And now if I want this to be the cover image, I'm gonna drag it and put it on top of another image that I have. And it creates a stack right there. So now if I open that up, there it is. And I can move this over here and then look what's gonna happen. You won't see it. So it's very important that this is at the very front of your stack. And then there it is and it will create this really nice effect of folders. There are some that I still need to categorize, I'm not gonna lie. This is something that I have to do like once a month, twice a month, because sometimes I'm just creating a lot of canvases and then I'm not organizing them, but I'll go through and I'll organize all of them. I'll feel very accomplished when I do it, so. It's one of those things that just take some time, organize everything. So once I have one, I don't go through that process of creating it again. I'll just go into a folder that already has one and I'll swipe to the left and you'll see there's an option to duplicate and I'll duplicate that. And then I'm gonna drag this. I'm, I'm long pressing on the one that I wanna drag out and I'm just hovering over stack, drag it back out and then there it is. Um, sometimes it's a little sneaky and it, you have to kind of search for it, but then I can open it back up and I can just delete this text, add other text that I want on here. So I basically just keep the circles um, so those are all uniform and the right size. You can also create a template for yourself and just work off that one template and duplicate it and create the, the kind of cover image for your different folders or stacks in Procreate. This is a simple thing, but it makes a really big difference when I get into my Procreate. I don't feel like everything is just cluttered. I feel like it's organized and it's got its folders. And what I love about this is it gives you a way to quickly scan through and read. Because you can name your different folders here. You'll notice I don't do that at all because that's tiny text. It's very hard to read that. I would rather create a big title image like that because it's easier for me to scan through. All right, that's how I create folders in Procreate that are nice and organized and neat and look wonderful.